How you doing? I'm Padre Destinero on YouTube, also known as UF on Horn and Whistleboard, and today I'm going to show you how to shop tune an M3. For your tools, you'll need a half inch socket wrench, quarter inch Allen key, you need two bolts with a couple of washers and a wing nut, and your spanner wrench, which is flat, iron, uh, flat steel with two bolts that we cut off and bol uh, welded in. You also won't be using a gram white. We'll be using a standard half inch ball valve. And what you want to do with those washers and wing nuts and bolts is port off your number one and your number two, like so. I've already got my number four here ready to go. from tight either and keep an eye on your gaskets that they don't sink into your bell while you're doing this. And same thing as the number four. Make sure you got your clapper going in, fitting onto the nozzle. Make 
make sure it doesn't fall back. That the first try that never happened. Same thing as before, you go from a hum to a solid note and then take it a little farther just so you set it in. For some reason it didn't even want to hum. Sounds like it's there. Lock it up with your Allen key. We'll give it a good one. Sounds good. On to the one. Now this one being DT&I and Grand Trunk Western Heritage, I'm going to do it in the traditional R1 arrangement. We'll see what we can get her to do. Make sure you got your gasket. Also mentioned you should probably wear hearing protection while doing this, but uh, I'm already a little deaf, so. Oh, and don't do this in your driveway because your neighbors will really like you. And I was just kidding, don't do it by your neighbors.
think so. And that's how you tune an M horn. Now let's see. It's gonna probably hurt, but. Nice. That's how you do her. Cheers.